Facts, man. I don't even know. What I'm man, saying. I swear, one day, these conversations that we have off mic, we're going to have on mic. Uh, no, because you're going to get canceled, man, because you're toxic. I'm not going to get canceled because I don't think I'm toxic, man. I just think, I think we both have uh, key points that we bring up. I just like the, I like the contrast of the differing of opinions and ideas because we're going to have a fun pod today, so we're not going to elaborate on it, but. And you're toxic. (laughs) (laughs) You you said one thing about the community forming portion of the, it wasn't even an argument, a conversation. Um, What what was the last point you just made? That we as a community need to come together and agree that there's certain things we just shouldn't do. And I think that that's happening everywhere in the community. Um, prime example, I've seen Safari today, um, and I've seen him do it a couple of times. Uh, he's posting, he, he'll post the crime that happened in New York in the neighborhood yeah. and be like, hey, man, we got to catch these people. This, this shit is unacceptable. And like you said, told me earlier, I can't wake up and be something day one. Yeah. I got to take steps and work towards it. Mm-hmm. I think that we as a community have to decide, hey, this is what we're going to do. And I think we've decided that. And I think what we're seeing now are the growing pains of people, celebrities and regular people taking those steps to change the narrative and clean up our communities. And I think sometimes people see that and they're still critical of that instead of accepting the fact that we're trying to put in the work to change the narrative and change things in the community. You got to give it time. I'm going to play some ratchet ass music, man. Please do. I'm going to play something so ratchet, man. No, I ain't going to do that, man. I, I, you know what? No. But this is a professional pod, and I just gave you at least a minute and a half of prep time for you to press play on the ratchet ass music that you were supposed to play. Check this out. After I said some real smart shit. This is where I'm going. Someone like you. This is where I'm going today. So now man. I'm going to have to delete all this shit Nuh-uh, man. and do a whole new drop. Uh uh-uh, uh man, we gonna do it the uh I'm a, some This is what I'm about, man. I'm about this right here, right here. Uh, BGM man. Yeah. Hey. If y'all ain't know this, black girl magic. <laughs> I think my musical selection is better. I got than her on my phone at BGM. BGM. Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh black man is black fancy. Black bag full of old white men It's a whole queen with your whole my hand Would you show me a little black girl Look, Black man's this black fancy Black bag full of old white men It's a whole queen with your whole my hand Would you show me a little black girl magic Move Did he call her a hoe? Like he said oh, oh, oh Oh, toxic man Oh This man clearly said Whoa Go shorty, get a shorty, yep. like the empire, need a terrorize, go shorty, Man. I'm so proud of you, head high, you was under nobody, sometimes it be really so hard for you, white boy paid more, same job as yo, the least I can do, is write a song that I'm on that part of you, while uh, black bands is black fancy, what? black bag full of old white men, it's a whole queen with your whole my hand, would you show me a little black girl, Look, black bands is black fancy, Black bag full of old white man as a old queen with your old white hand with your show me a little black girl magic. Yeah, I just wanted to go some black girl black girl magic, man. Cause you know, I I, I think that our black queens, our queens of any color, man, just need to get, you know, their 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 just due and their props and let them know that, you know, we are in this together. I say that because Father's Day's coming up, man, and it's gonna be a bunch of non-positivity going back and forth because we always do it every year and i just want to i just want to you know tell the queens that it's father's day and mother's day is a is a dual celebration of both word to your mother oh you pandering pandering hey do the shots bow bow bang bang Bang, you are now bang, listening to Podcasting bang, Excellence, bang. straight out of H-Town, Texas. One young James Boogie. I'm AR Dub, 16 Shots Podcast. What's going down today, bro? All right, so let's, 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 you said it's going to be fun, but I got to talk about this. I got to talk about this. P. 
people are hating on people being happy about the Juneteenth um, celebration or the federal. And let me say, time about, time about. You yeah. said people are hating on the happiness of Juneteenth celebration. Yeah, man, I'm glad you brought it up because yeah. uh, we we need to hit that topic up. There's some people that me and you love. Yeah, that are near and dear to our hearts. Yeah, and I saw. You know what? I want to talk about Twitter as a whole. So I, I'm not on Twitter for that reason. So let me tell you, I um, I recently have been on Twitter, and dangerous. Um, I got on Twitter to promote 16 Shots Podcast. Previously, before that, I was on Twitter just to troll uh, Sports Radio 16 Houston because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think Lopez is a racist, and I do like uh, Mike Meltzer. I like Seth Payne. Uh, Andre Wad was on that when I used to listen. Yeah. So I got back on Twitter for the pod, and dude, the amount of shit that niggas talk on Twitter... Cause I'm an IG guy. I like I like the arts. So I like visual arts, I like the photographs, people's music, people's acting skits. I love cars. I love guns. I love paint. You know, like paintings, art, like real art. I like to see people doing their art. That's why I like Instagram. Okay. Twitter is a bunch of niggas talking shit. I wouldn't know. I, I I I never really. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. And with that being said, someone that's near and dear to us, mm-hmm. that is in our inner circle. Yeah. Uh, actually quoted one uh, Candace Owens and she was talking cash money about Juneteenth like black people shouldn't even be happy that shit shouldn't even be a celebration we should just forget about it so what's your stance on it? hold on say it again say it slow Candace Owens was talking cash money about Juneteenth like why is this even a thing we shouldn't even care about it check this out And I, okay so what it is is because well let's take it it's two part one the way that we feel about Juneteenth in the South is different from the way they feel about it other places. I understand that. Because I know it was people like, man, it ain't nothing. But like people outside of Texas and the South, they have no idea about Juneteenth. You know what I mean? So right. they, it's like they're elated because they're like, wow, man, I've never had a chance to, 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 to deal with something like this or have this type of, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, uh, it's like for me, her stance on certain things is purely based on she's trying to open people's eyes with commentary, right? And so, what is a fact for um most most uh people on on the internet is that polarizing things. Or what get the best views. But does that make it right though? It's not about being right or wrong. It's about being able to open your eyes to be able well, to Well, hold think. on. You, you were just going to go off on a tangent of why people have been hating Juneteenth and they shouldn't. Well, I was going to say because, like I was saying, people in the South are looking at it from one way. And people from the North are like, man, we ain't know about this, man. We ain't had no idea. So they, you know. Ex- and, exp- and it's later. Expl- explain to the people in the back of the bus who don't know exactly what Juneteenth is. Well, back in 1865, what, five? Is that right? I don't know. You're the expert. Uh, well, the, the, uh, after the Emancipation Proclamation, which was in 1865, I believe, we didn't get the, um, we didn't get the notice in the South that blacks were freed until June 19th. And so in the, right, right, in the right. South, in, in the first, Juneteenth was in Galveston, Texas. That is true. And uh, they they had parades celebrating. And one of the most, uh, one of the biggest key essentials to it was that that when the Union soldiers came down to deliver the message, 75% of those um, troops were black. So it was a bunch of black men coming down to the South, which was a stronghold of racism and Confederates, telling them, hey, all these black men are free right now so that was a big thing so uh that's a, that's a south thing in the north they knew about it so people in the south are are like why are they so happy we've been celebrating this you know what i mean and people in the north who are on the are saying like well thank you for the holiday but there's a lot of things that <laughs> y'all skipped over to give us a holiday like such as reparations 
So in that essence, I can understand how Candace Owens can be like, well, why are we celebrating Juneteenth? Like to celebrate this would skip over all the things that black people should be getting, whether it's, you know, reparations or whether it's acknowledgement of the atrocities of slavery, whether it's the way they try to take the teaching of uh, slavery out of schools, whether it's the way they've targeted black families. Like if you're going to ignore those things and just talk about, you're going to, you're going to mention those things, then, you know what I'm saying? You skipping a lot of stuff what I'm saying. Like, it's just a holiday. Like, Fuck that holiday. I want something in and I want something solid to touch. What did she say? So she said, uh fucking bless up. Yeah, so earlier today, Candace Owens said it took all of two years for Democrats to train black Americans to worship criminals like George Floyd, beg for violence on the streets via defund the police, and to celebrate to celebrate segregation in the form of Black Independence Day. I just cannot comprehend the rampant stupidity. Now, and oh, and then she also says in another post, she says Juneteenth is so lame. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Damn, I lost it. I don't know. I don't think that that celebrating Juneteenth is celebrating segregation, though. It's celebrating the the abolishment of slavery. Is that a bad thing? And do you believe in any of these words that, that Candace Owens just said? Uh, not believe, but you know, I mean, you know, Candace Owens is Candace Owens. Like she has, she has her. She she is just like the black diaspora has her ups and downs. And I think one of the one of the falsities or one of the the issues that we have as black people is that we want to accept black people in only their greatness. Or we don't want to look at, like, the conversation we were having earlier about um, Mr. James. And what I think that, what we missed each other kind of was like, I don't want to, I don't take anything away from LeBron James or any black man or any black woman who is doing great things. But if our conversation about said person is only about the greatness that, that they have and we ignore the shortcomings that's not a true, you know, representation of that person. And if their shortcomings um, are, 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 we all have shortcomings. We all have missteps. Right. And so sometimes it, it, it comes out like, as, you know, in the conversation because we are not, we're, we end up being fanatics or fans of somebody. Okay. And not really, you know, so to put myself in the, in, in the, in the hot seat, people would say, well, you a fan of James Harden? He can do no wrong. And I'm like, no, he can do wrong. Like he was a a a, a ban for saying his team wasn't good enough. He wasn't wrong, but he was a ban for saying it out loud. You know what I mean? He he wasn't wrong because in 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 the long run, at the end of the day, we saw what happened without him. You know what I'm saying? We saw what the team was without him. So I'm not saying he was he was wrong in his statement, but he was wrong for saying it. So we can look at the totality of a person and be like, okay, this thing right here they did, it wasn't the, it wasn't good or wasn't the best, but they do. Everybody has strong points or, or or positive things. If I but if I always so, if if I'm a community activist, Aaron, who's been doing this for years, mm-hmm. don't I also have some some skeletons in my closet or or some. Some some stains on my ledger from from my past. Everybody has that. So how come it's more? I I have to, I, how come I have to judge LeBron James or James Harden harder than I would just a regular person? It's oh well well, um I've said this many times. Like the great American um, hero Peter Parker was told. By his great uncle Ben. With great what? Where great power comes Come. great responsibility. All right, stop right there. Yes. So with that being said, if I've been given this great power and this great platform that I have, I should use my platform for more than just foolery. Am I correct? 
Yeah. Because that's... Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, well, no, 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 I said no, I said no, I said no. But you won't let me finish. Okay, but I'm saying no. When you ask me a question, I'm saying but no. But isn't that the definition of where great power becomes great responsibility? It, well, it depends on what you're saying. Like, so we say for just foolery, if I'm a comedian and I have great influence, then why would I stop being funny? No, no, no. You know what I'm saying. Oh, okay, break it down to me. I said... If I if I've been blessed with this with this platform or this position to have a platform, shouldn't I do some positive with it instead of foolery? When I say foolery, I don't mean that a comedian shouldn't have a platform and shouldn't post jokes. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that a comedian should have a platform and should do good with the platform. He shouldn't post foolery. The jokes are what makes him his money, mm -hmm. which allows him to have the platform. Same thing with the basketball player. Same thing with the football player. Same mm -hmm. thing with the rapper. I can't expect the, I can't judge the Migos if they're still making music and dropping videos on their platform, but they're yeah. not doing anything positive. I can judge the Migos if they're saying they want to change the the landscape of their community, but they're still rapping about drugs and shooting people. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now in the conversation that we had earlier about Mr. James, he uses his platform for positiveness and not a bunch of foolery. And that's all we ask for. I mean to I mean, yeah, I'm like I said. So we can't criticize the guy just because he might not be well versed in every social aspect of 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 activism. Keep going. Just because you know, he has like we can't we can't we can't we can't judge him for that. Because he's a basketball player, but he's using his platform to the best way he knows how. What I'm saying is we can judge him for that. Because, you can't. You can't. Because he's not? using it to the best way he knows no, how. No, because he puts himself in the conversation. Like, he definitely comes out. He goes out of his way to comment on things that are outside of what we know him for. Do you not go out of your way to come, come in on things out of the vein that we don't know you for? What you not know me for? What am so, I not known so for? So, you are a... a, 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 you are a, a knowledgeable person versed on all social activist issues not on all but on some but don't you but don't you but don't you comment on certain things you've never heard me comment on the social on on the state of indian politics you've never heard me po comment on the state of russian um pastries so let me ask you what i'm saying so you are a activist in the community somewhat if someone asked you a hey, young james boogie what you know about uh, Russian communist activity? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I'm not sure. I know Putin be on some BS sometimes, but but know. how do you know he's on some BS if you're not versed in Russian activism? Well, I I do I do read about Putin and I I've seen some of his. But moves. do you even know what, what what he does and how it affects Russia? Are you versed in that? I know how it affects the U.S. But do you know how it affects Russia? Because we're talking about Russian relations, not U.S. relations. Well, I'm saying, well, because Russia, I'm talking about the way it affects the U.S. If you ask no, me no, no, I'm asking you how it affects Russians, not the Americans, because we're not talking oh, about the Americans. Yeah. We're talking about Putin and the Russians. Yeah. How does it affect the Russians? Well, I don't talk about Putin and the Russians. So, that's what I'm saying. So that's the essentially, that's the same thing that happened to LeBron James. No, if, if LeBron I, but, James was talking about Akron and how the world needs to know what happened in Akron, yeah. and somebody asked him about China. Now he should have said when he was in China. Now he should have said, hey, "You know what? I don't know, bro. I'm here." That's I'm, what I'm saying. He should have said, "I don't know. I'm here playing basketball." Exactly. Just like you should have said, "Hey, man, you know what? I don't know anything about Russia because that's not my." Well, no, I do know about I do no. know about Russia. See, that's what I'm saying. Well, listen, what I'm saying. You're telling me, but you don't know. Which me, I don't know. I don't know that Putin is the, is the, is is the president. I don't know that he uses um, cyber attacks around the world. I don't know that he um, him and da him and um, Daniel, Donald Pr Trump was was bosom buddies. I don't know that right now him and Biden are having a conference and that he don't like Biden. So when they have the conference, like I I have I have knowledge of what's going on but, with him. But but if someone asks you, how does that affect? Russian and Russia's. And now, I'm they Russia. asked to know. That's what I asked you, and that's what I'm saying. Get but, off of him. No, but I you, asked you a question yeah. and an example yeah. of you not being well versed on everything. So you should have said, "Hey, you know what? I don't know how that works." Just like he should have said, "Hey, you know what? I don't know how that works." But, but the, that's the, the not example what is people different, do. Though. That's what I'm saying. It's not different. It it's the different. same Watch thing. This. You were asked a question no, no. on something you weren't well versed. No, in. but what I'm saying is, if, yes or no? Were you asked listen, a question no, about no, something that you were not well versed? No, it's not the same. Well, I'm I didn't that, ask you what was the same. I asked you a question. Yeah. Did I ask you a question on yeah. something that you were not well versed? And in? what did I say? 
You should you you tried to well no you tried I to told make it you sound, what, no you, I told you what I know you turned the question around and tried to tell me what you know and yeah. that's not what I asked you what what does Putin do what the question again was what does Putin's politics have to do with Russia I didn't I didn't ask you that what you asked me I said how does it affect Russians it affects Russians in ways that I don't know was that better for you. That's what you should have led with at first. Okay, I, I, Same thing with LeBron James. That's what he should have said at first. But the, the, the caveat difference is... That ain't no caveat. It's no, the same see, question. What you mean? All right, I'm, go ahead. Tell me the caveat. The difference is that, that somebody before before you asked me that question, somebody's already gave, given an entire speech and told you what's going on. Before we even got to this country, we had a... a, 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 a um, we had a talk with our representatives. We know, hey, we might not even go to this place because of what's going on. But we have a contract, and that's why we're going. Oh, well, okay. I, I, if they ask you, don't say nothing about it. This is what this is the conversation the NBA Players Association, the NBA had with the players before they went over there. And now, I, and now, I ask you the question, and instead of you being like, man, I don't know, or being like, I'm not sure, let me talk. You you make a, a point to say that the person who spoke. The truth about the situation should have been quiet. That's what I'm saying about about the way that we look at people. Like if you misstep, I, I mean, and it's okay, bro. It's okay that he misspoke. But what I'm saying is, when you make it your point always to put yourself in a conversation about things that are outside of your expertise, and then when it comes back and bites you in in in, in, in the backside, you can't act brand new. Like oh well. You know, now you, you misspoke, bro. And your interest is your money. But did you not just misspeak? And I came right back. It's like, you know what? I, sm- I misspoke. And I told you. And I re- right. he never came back and did that was to he, this day. But does he have to? Why Why doesn't he? Because there are people, like I'm saying, what I'm saying is. Did, it, da- it, it did, 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 did Daryl Morey come back and say he misspoke? Because he didn't. Okay. Did the owner of the Rockets come back and say he misspoke for trying to silence Daryl Morey? No. So so why are you not holding all of these people if you feel like they mm. should come back and misspeak? Mm. Because why are you not holding all of these people to that? Because to, Tim, to, because to that? Tim and Fertitta doesn't come out and make himself doesn't doesn't come out and, and say things like I'm a warrior for social justice. Have That's you not, have you not paid attention to Tim and Fertitta and the politics he's tried to dabble in the last couple of years? Did, have you ever seen? Chilman Fertitta come out and say I'm a warrior for social justice. I've seen him come out and say he's a warrior for things that he believes in. Yeah, for things that he believes in, but he didn't say he's he didn't say that he's a warrior. For well, so- Le- but LeBron believes in social justice. That's what now I'm he saying. should say he believes in social justice for African Americans. That's what that's all I'm saying, bro. But I think he said that also. But I'm saying what I'm saying is that so now what I'm saying is that when you when you step out of your realm of expertise. And you put your, you plant your flag, and you and you you end up getting egg on your face. That's all I'm saying. I think I think he planted his flag on something, and I think the media purposely asked him that question because they know he makes money in China. Exactly. Yeah, so I, they purposely asked him the question. Yeah. So he so they wanted him. What they, he what, just he just not, he just should have not asked. What him. what really happened? What really really happened was they wanted him to be like, look. They wanted him to have. It gave him a chance to be like, look. Man, some of this thing that's going over here is wrong. And I, even though I profit off of this, just like Daryl Moore, even though I because that's one of his biggest supporters for the Rockets is, is China. But even though I make money off of this, I can't be a BAN, a bitch ass nigga, and be like, oh, it's okay. No, I got to I gotta be a, a, a stand-up character, be a man and be like, look, man, even though we make money off of this and it's not in my, in my community, in my, in my world, a blind man can see this is wrong. This is not right. I think the other thing is we don't we don't take in consideration that we, as just regular citizens, are afforded the luxury of making a mistake. People who live their life in the spotlight, mm-hmm. they're not afforded that same luxury of making a mistake. Right, right. It, that was no mistake, bro. That was Nike talking to LeBron James. That was that's what, that's what happened. Like, let's cut out a bull. It was Nike talking to LeBron James. Nike's like, I get this money from Nike. Like, look, whatever you do, don't, you don't say you nothing. Don't, you don't think things that he said could could have been taken out of context? Bro, Nike told this man, and this is my this is me just talking out the side of my face. But Nike basically said, man, whatever you say, don't say nothing against China, man, because this is one of our biggest supporters. So whatever you say out your mouth, 
it can't go against China. It can't go against the government because the government's the one that controls the, the money through Nike and the money through China. So if you say anything is against the government, bro, you in trouble. And Darren Moore said like, and Darren Moore got that same speech. But Darren Moore was like, man, fuck it. I'd rather go out on my on my sword, you know what I'm saying, and be and be real and say what's true than to have to let somebody control me through dollars. That's what happened, bro. That's that's exactly what is happened. Is Darren Moore still standing on that on that ledge? Yeah, that's or why he shut the fuck up and go work in Philly. That's probably why he got fired from that. You, so what, you think I'm gonna leave? Oh, he wanted to leave anyway, though. He wanted out. Hold up. You think? But what I'm saying is, you think I'm gonna leave the Houston Rockets that has a direct line to China? Then China, China, since Yao Ming has got to came to the Rockets, is one of the biggest supporters of the Rockets to the point where players who don't even be getting, uh, who don't even be, they be trash get Hall of Fame. I mean, uh. All star votes because they rockets because there's so many people in China that's dollars. I'm gonna leave this easy job, cush job to go to Philly. Like, come on, like that, that had something to do with that. That China situation had a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just man, much love to LeBron James, man. All right, so let me ask you one question. Yeah, you don't think that some of the things that LeBron says can be taken out of context? Yeah. But you don't think that that's an excuse or or that's an alibi for him. He should pay more attention to what he says. And 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 what I'm saying is... No, I'm saying is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is that he is just like like you said, he's, like, he's a human being. He's in the spotlight, so what he says is amplified. But I'm also saying, I'm on camera right now, man. You, you record me without my... My uh exclusive rights. And you you literally moved the cup out of the way of the camera. I because I thought you were taking pictures. I didn't know I'm on camera. I'd have been talking to the camera. You know I'm a professional act. I got an ASCAP card. My bro. my whole my whole my whole thing is, <laughs> it can't be good for Kanye but bad for LeBron. What you got for the next topic, bro? What did Kanye do? Nah, let's go. What you got for the next topic, <laughs> what, bro? What did, what did Kanye do? We had How a whole Kanye? argument about Kanye last the other day about. What he says is taken out of context, and you caped for him, but you like Kanye, and you want to persecute LeBron because you don't I'm not, like LeBron. But, but see, you keep saying, you keep putting these words. Hey, you, man, what's the next that, topic, you're bro? That throw, you're a person that throw words, man. I don't throw words, man. I listen to what you say, and then I- LeBron I, James embarrassed himself Monday night saying the Houston Rockets GM was misinformed and not educated when he s- reported that Hong Kong- protesters when he reported on the Hong Kong protesters in social media. Now LeBron James told somebody anyway, anyway, you're right. I'm leaving alone, bro. Um some of the argument about Daryl Morey was he wasn't informed about why the protesters were protesting. Yeah, and he was. He, he was, was very informed, informed or he was wrong. Or he, he was, was right. very informed. Like I said So what what were they protesting about? They were I don't pro- know. They were protesting because they 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 were saying that the that Nike and the NBA was coming to China, and China was going through some social injustice. Like the people, the, the workers were fighting for rights, for equal rights. Mm-hmm. And and Nike is one of the biggest companies in China at the time, even right now. And he and he was saying, Darren Moore was basically like, "Look, they should have social civil rights." And LeBron was like, "They misinformed and he uneducated." Like basically saying, LeBron was like, "Nike pays me, so." Nike's right. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That was the that was the niggulations. So there was no aspect of Kanye West caping for Donald Trump because he got him out of some um some tax situations and got him some tax breaks. So some of the antics that he put up mm-hmm. were caping for Donald Trump. Did Kanye West and his wife get um people who were in prison out of prison during that time? Oh no, they did. I did think that's Kanye, a good thing, too. Did Kanye West definitely come out and say, like, y'all talked about all this stuff about me and Donald Trump, but I got niggas out of prison, right? His wife did get people out of prison. But did not Did Kanye West come back and, and, and make that court? Like, look. But Kanye West used his platform to do some good. Huh. He's, he's not well-versed in, 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 I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's well-versed yeah. in prison reform. Yeah. Neither, Kanye, neither his wife. But Kanye yeah. West and his wife yeah. used their celebrity yeah. as leverage yeah. to do some good. Exactly. 
But we didn't bring up hit their checker pass though. We didn't bring up the fact that, that she had sex tapes and I always got an ass out. That's checkered? Well, time out. Because right. something wrong with you don't like ass? You just you you was you was saying stack five what? had a checker pass. He he, and he, so he had an ass that, out? He had a sex tape? Let's go ahead. Let's move on to I'm this. I'm just... Because you now, now you're not being serious about but it. But now so you... No, no, no. Now you're you not being are, serious about it. You are being it. offensive to women because they are sex workers? You know what? I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Because now, asking... now you're not being... You're, you're, now I'm, you're I'm not being serious. I'm asking a question. You're not, you're not answering a legit question that I brought up. So let's move on to a, to a, to a lighter topic. Something that's fun. Uh, so... Man, hold on, hold on, hold on, because my, my laptop died on me earlier today when I was doing Your laptop it. died on you because it knew you was full of shit. You know, I was, see what I'm saying? I thought we'd be lighter, man. We are being lighter. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be throwing jabs at me, man. You know what I do? <laughs> you know what I do when you throw jabs at me, you man? You change the subject no. and try to make a new argument of something I'm just saying, else. No, I'm not saying, I'm not, who wants to argue, man? I'm just saying, what but, you got but, going on? But why are you wearing camouflage, man? I got a true religion shirt on. But why? What's the, what's why you got a champion Sean Kemp Sonics jersey on? Because I like Sean Kemp, man. I'm, nigga, I like camouflage. Okay, that's all you had to say. Why you thought I was talking about you, man? I was asking the question. I'm just saying, why are you ask, you No, see, what you're trying to do... What am I trying to do? ...is spark up a debate. Because a you... A debate? About camouflage? You like the troll. You're a troll. Man, see, that's what people say. People say you're a troll. When you you're are at, a troll. I'm not a troll. No, bro. you're a troll. I'm not a troll. You're very much a troll. Matter of fact, you're so much of a troll. And I know you're a troll. I'm not a troll, Because bro. I've asked you... I've seen you post some shit on Facebook, and then I hit you. I don't even have a Facebook account. You're a goddamn lie. And you have like three of them because you like to post your um your your naked photos from the, you know what I'm saying with showing off your little your little tattoo on your arm to your little dips. See now the no, same shit you're doing now. Now no, I'm cam rocking. I, I cut, my, I cut you, my beard, man. I've seen I've seen you post some bullshit, and then I hit you and be like. Book. Why you post that Hold bullshit? Hold on. Now, now, what bullshit have I posted ever? Give us give an example of what I, I, I posted on some bullshit. Man, you can, you can call you about Kwame right now. He'll give you 10 examples of bullshit. I never post Matter bullshit, Matter of fact, man. you just posted some bullshit today about how you championed the fact that, that Tyson fights this Paul brother. I Know why? Because I think Tyson going to hurt him for real. That's why. But let me ask you a question. What? What's the difference of that ideology with Tyson fighting him opposed to Floyd? From because Floyd I, cause Floyd was trying to get some money. I think Tyson going to hurt him. I think Tyson is, I think Tyson have crazy. In fact, Tyson would say he have crazy. So I think Tyson going to be like, look, man, I'm not here to play with you. I'm not here to play with you, my boy. If, if, Wait, boy, if, I'm not here to play with you. If we hey. feel like the Tyson's greatness outshines Floyd, not outshines, if we feel like Tyson's greatness means more than Floyd's greatness, mm -hmm. and we feel like Floyd, for the most part, uh, uh, put a stain on his boxing career because he fought this Logan Paul character. Matter of fact, I think you said, what what, what were the words that you used for I don't Floyd? know, man. I'll be drinking. Keep going. Nah, you said some some wild shit. Like, I ain't saying nothing wild. Nah, you probably said, real. nah, like you, you questioned this man's whole character for fighting this Logan Paul character. Yeah, man. Why you fight him, bro? And why, first off, so why, 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 why did you knock him out? You no, know why? He did. But, he knocked him out and held him up. Knock him out, the man. The show must go on. Bro, if, 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 if you, uh, look, watch this. Perfect example. You play football, or you played football, right? Okay. Middle linebacker, right? Sure. If if I said let's put the pads on, and I'm gonna go across the middle, you're gonna die. Right. That's that's exactly right. That's 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 your mentality, right? But if I'm told at 40 years old, yeah, we're gonna put the pads on. That's about tomorrow. Tomorrow you're gonna put the pads on. Yeah. And you're gonna cr come across the middle. Yeah. And in order for us, for you to make 10 million, and for me to make 30 million. I can't decapitate you. I can tackle you, but I can't just knock you out and decleat you. Bro, I'm gonna tackle you so the show can go on. No, some things like like they say do it for the culture. Some things are for the culture, man. Like we don't want I don't I don't want people to believe. Do you know how many white boys been get knocked out because of this fight, man? No white boy in his white mind knows that this Logan Paul character, whatever Paul brother this was. Yeah. Had a chance at beating Floyd Mayweather. First off, he got two first names, so you can't really trust him to begin with. Logan Paul, them two first names. <coughs> <You're right. laughs> but okay, but I'm saying I like, feel like the Nate Robinson knockout was was. Damn, 
I feel like Nate didn't take the fight serious, and he was bigger than Nate. Yeah, 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 yeah. He don't want to fight Tyson. I don't care how old he says Tyson is. But, okay, so moving on. I cut my beard, man. Why? I feel, okay, so every time I grip, my beard grows off, grows big, I get called everybody else that has a big beard. So I was Trey. I was James Harden. You know what I mean? And it just takes two or three. Boy, you going to find a way to put James Harden No, I'm, I, I swear, man, my, 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 my maintenance dude at my apartment, he, I had my mask on, and, you know, I got rocket stuff on. So I come out, the, I come out and I kind of stall him because he – and he turned around, and, of course, he's Hispanic, and we all look alike. And so uh, he turned around, he's like, oh, man, I, I didn't know, man. I, I, I swore you, I thought you were James Harden. And I was like, what? Like, you know – and then this chick at at, at um at, at one of my hey, jo- you do know James Harden has a full head of hair. I had a hat on. Okay, is that a hair joke, man? Because no. I was looking, man. You kind of thinny, man. You finna come on the side with us, man. You got no, no. Everyone, there's no secret that I cut my dress because it was pulling my hair in the center. Okay, well, so my dreads know. have been cut for an upwards of three and a half, almost four years. And there's been no male pattern baldness. I'm just hey, the only bro. thin spot is there from the weight of my dreads pulling my hair. That's why I cut it so I wouldn't be bald like you. Hey, I'm just saying, man. I went to the dermatologist. My 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 scalp is not damaged. <laughs> I'm just saying. I feel like what is this? 2021, 2025, man. You're gonna be with us. The man. thinning has been the same since 2017. It hasn't gotten worse. You started. Were you working out? Yeah, I work out. You know that baldness is is comes from testosterone. Mm-hmm. So the more you work out, how you know I don't have treatments that I put in my hair? Now? You putting treatments in your hair, bro? You doing all that, man? Nigga, you wore a whole man wig. First, I'm off, not putting weave on my head. First off, it wasn't a wig. It, well, shit, it was a. Oh my bad, you called it a male unit. It's That's a what unit. You it. it was a unit. Explain to the fans what your male unit is. Is it not fake ass hair that came from some uh? Malaysian chick. First off, it was African hair. I made sure it was African hair. I, I talked to the person who made it, and I told him it was, you know. So you mean to tell me when you went to the Asian beauty supply, you asked the lady at the counter. I didn't counter, go to the Asian You beauty asked supply. the lady at the counter if she had some African hair for you to put on your head? No. What I did was. You had, I, a, you had, a, to, you had a nigga toupee. It was a male barber who did my hair. Shout outs to uh, Perfection Barbershop. Hi, right, hey, hey, walk us through the steps. Uh, how you got this nigga toupee? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, man, I had a special guest to post. No, nah, we, we 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 got no nah, fuck that. You nah, know, no, nah, we're not leaving this. We got a diverse audience. Some of our audience are not black, and they would love to know the difference between a a, a toupee for a Caucasian male and a toupee for African American male. Well, so can you please talk to the audience and let us know no, how this all no, works? There's no difference. Well, explain it to us, please. Because it both it both works with with the glue. All right, so 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 you glue some hat to your scalp. I mean, that's how all toupees work. I wouldn't know because I don't need one. You will one day, and when that day comes, bro, I'm there. It'll probably be sixty five. I say by the time I'm sixty, my hairline will be receded like yours. But at that point, I won't care. I just <laughs> cut it off. I look good bald. First hey, look, off. hey man, look, I don't judge the anyone. ladies like my bald head. You hey, know what I mean? Look. And that's cool. I'm glad all your girlfriends like your bald head. All my girlfriends. Why do you always do stuff like that, bro? Well, you're the single guy. In the I room. know. But I can have. I don't have any girlfriends. Okay. You got at least six of them. I see. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, man. Mm. See, I have people that call me from the show, and they're like, "Man, Brookie can't even talk about his girls because I don't have any girls, man." So you ain't got no boo thing in your I life? have no boo thing in my time life. Time out. You you do this a lot. Don't change the subject. We need to know how you <laughs> put the, how you put the nigga to pay on. It's for, okay. So I didn't do it. It's All a right. it's a professional. I went to a professional shop. All right. Right. The reason why I went because the person who was doing it, they were working on the on the process. Wanted to know how to do it, and they were they were getting better at it. And they're like, hey, I can do this for a, a, lot, a low price. You know, and I, I'm like, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'll try almost anything once, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I went there and it's uh, they put a, a, a piece on top, a piece of hair on top. Well, he, puts, they, he has to 
cut down low so that you don't have any hair because you know if you have hair on there well that's not hard to do for you you know what i'm saying at that time it was harder because i had more i still have i have a lot of hair so let me ask you a question can you like grow the portion of your hair that grows so just the portion that's like around your ears grow out we know the top is gone (laughs) (laughs) so can you like grow the sides like the george jefferson and then go to this barber get the male unit as you call it Mm -hmm. I don't know why you want to put a male unit on your head, but whatever. You get that put on your head, right? It pause. And then can he That's taper weird. your real hair on October the sides? October the 8th, man. October the can, 8th. Can he taper your real hair on the sides to blend in? That is definitely what happens. With the Malaysian hair on top of your it's head? It's not Why do I get Malaysian hair? I don't know, my nigga. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't, I don't want hair like, first off, I don't want hair like yours, man. I don't want that, you know, that, 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 I can't tell if he's black, if he's, you know, I want... Real, you know, uh, hair. Uh, I oh, had nappy hair. Na- is something wrong with nappy? No, ain't nothing wrong it's some, with nappy. It's some, you got something wrong with nappy? It's not my fault that I'm half it's, Cuban. It's, hold okay? up. It's almost Juneteenth, bro. Are you got something against African hair? No. Is that what you're saying? I'm from Cuba. I don't care. I don't <laughs> You You wouldn't have the, the, the papi, the papi, the papi. Hey, look, it's not my fault I got good hair. It, oh, it's good hair. That's well, what it is. Yeah, it it's is. good hair. It's not soft or it's not as good. So the, the hair is not yours. It's bad hair. I don't have KD, Kevin Durant hair, no. You know you, you know what? You, you're toxic, bro. <laughs> Thank you. You're toxic, man. I wear it like a fucking Mary I, I'm, I'm, I, So after you got the man unit or the, the nigga toupee, what can you do in it? Can you go swimming? Can you go skydiving? You can. You can do everything. Can you play to. golf? Yeah. The only thing about it, because I got it early. This is like maybe three years ago. And they hadn't really perfected the the process so it uh, the 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 glue the adhesive mm-hmm. wasn't conducive with sweat so you can't sweat a lot you know say so, because it was meant for, it, it was meant for I guess older men who weren't uh, as active I got you yeah so you are oh you are older oh now I'm I might be old. so what happened you want to have a race bro so so we have a foot race yeah you want a foot race. I know because you know, if I'm old you should be me in a foot race well then. you weigh like 185 I weigh 305 so, I went to your scale I was 201 oh my bad you weigh 201 yeah 200 good job 200 I'm glad that you you know are welcome to the grown man weight club <laughs> <laughs> so what happened if, <laughs> so what happened if you got the man unit you know what I'm saying so me and you we go out to the club whatever let's say we go to whatever popping spot the young kids go to these days mm-hmm. live oak there you go and so you run I don't into go out, but keep nah that's what I'm saying and then you know you run into like a little breezy that you like mm-hmm. so they say what they say now what the young kids say when they, when they say female they like uh, a dip? I don't know. A little dip? Yeah. Let's say you know. find you like a little dip or something, yeah. you know? And uh, <laughs> I call them queens, is what I call them. <laughs> you find you a little dip, you know what I'm saying? And then you're like, hey, little dip, why don't you, you know, go ahead, roll to the Tweeties with me? And y'all pull up Tweeties. Do they still go to Tweeties, bro? I, but I don't know nothing, bro. All I do is go to work. Do push up. Negro stop. So you find your little dip, y'all go to the Tweety's yeah. Diamond Inn, and you on like stroke eight. And eight? You, eight. You on stroke eight. I, I, eight it's a strong let's eight, say, though. Let's say it's 27. Because stroke eight, that's just getting started, bro. Yeah, okay. You on stroke 10. 20. 15. 25. 20, 21. That's the size I'm going. Where is it? You see the, is it the you on camera? Stroke, you on stroke 25. And yeah. you, feel, <laughs> you feel a bead of sweat run down your head. Do yeah. you get nervous? No, because it's not like it's it's not like it's like it's not like it's a it's a onesie. Well, it's it's a onesie, but ain't like it's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm trying to think. But what happened if she feeling a stroke? So she decides to you know grab your you know how you grab your head or yeah. something, bro. Are you are you afraid that when she you know see it's when she say ooh if, boogie pause. That she's, gonna, <laughs> that she's gonna like you know pull the man unit off with the with the you know if 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 that was my issue if if, if let's say if I was in that in predicament what I would do I, and this is gonna get way too personal <laughs> but <laughs> what I would do is I would definitely bring some kink I would ask I would add some kink to the situation right, so that right. she would be tied up so that wouldn't even be an issue. You know what I'm saying? So oh. she's already locked up. So like, you know what I'm saying? All she could do is beg for mercy at this point. Oh, so you are killing these females. You know hog time. Hey, I didn't say hog time. I don't know how you get down. 
You know what I'm saying? I That's got, what R. Kelly did. He I, all time. Oh, well, I'm going to have, you know, a, a, a probably here and here or maybe have, the, you know, I have, I don't want to talk about business. I'm glad I got visuals too. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, you can see out here and here. Why come it's only on me? How come it's on you too? This is an experiment, my Okay. Guy. I, I need I, really. I need some of these things chopped up, man. Because we ain't you haven't like we had like two or three episodes that were classic that we didn't get no chop ups, man. The urban. Uh, it's air. called. It's called. I have a full time job. I mean, I got two full. I mean, you're more than welcome to come over here and you know. I got. I sorry. I got two full time jobs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you got two. Full-time I got two full time jobs. Full-time jobs. Yeah, like a job and a half. Uh, maybe three. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Graphic yeah. design too. Those three equal one for me though. I mean, six to six every day. You act like I don't do the same thing. A.M. Okay, you act like I don't do the same thing. My bad. I just be getting off at like nine, nine thirty. What time you go in? Uh, between nine and ten. This guy be lying. Why this guy be lying, man? Why I gotta be lying? Cause you be like, what time? I'm, I'm like, when I leave, I'm like, hey man, you know, we, I'm damn. Hey, what's, all right, see you tomorrow. What time no, you no, go no, in? I be scheduled one. to go in at one, but then. Sometimes my day starts at home. Sometimes I gotta wake up and hop on a you know video call. Come on, why does you know what? Why do people always be like that's hard? Like it is oh, hard. Bro. I gotta get on a video call oh, because man. I oh, can't man. just I just can't get on there with like a, a a champion Sean Kemp jersey on. Why not? It's frowned upon by who? The establishment. Why? Nigga, I don't know what's the rule. Why don't you be like, look, is 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 my conversation different in a champion jersey than it is in a true religion or or a college shirt? It's something called professionalism, Bruh, So if you put a a college, so you telling me it's difficult to put a college shirt on? A college shirt? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's all you gotta do is just, oh, I don't put this shirt. I put a different shirt. I gotta take down the. <laughs> the return of the Circle G's album coming soon. <laughs> shit, <laughs> man, I got the Tupac, man. It, I got, I got to make sure I hide. I got, I got to make sure I hide the, the. Wait, what the fuck? Oh man, I hear something. Oh, I broke everything. Oh, that's You, bro. What, what, what's going on? I can't hear you. You can hear me. Oh, I got a call. You, you can't hear yourself because you fucked up your headphones. Uh oh, can you hear me? Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yo quiero, Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco. Hello, you're live on the Sixteen Shots podcast with James Boogie and Mr. Aaron W. Who are we speaking to so I can know where to edit? Okay, <laughs> we're speaking with Miss Powers. Hello. <laughs> Why Absolutely. Gonna- why the one want... and only. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, so I just wanted to ask you a, qu- a question. Okay. Well, uh, but I love chicken. I love chicken as well. Hey man, do you need some privacy? Because okay. you know, she <laughs> so, she answered the phone. Your kettle Taco Bell. I don't yeah. know that could. I know it's Spanish. Yeah, but <laughs> she's asking for Taco Bell. But she could, she, want, she could be asking for some other kind of meat. You know what beef, I'm saying? She wants beef in life. She might want she some beef, beef in a taco. taco. Yeah, <laughs> she might want that. So I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> I, I mean, nah, I think I think this I don't want to short stop your your, your, your little, your little I, swag I, I, you got I, I going on. Beef. No, this, this is this is an outstanding. This is a yeah beef uh, chalupa. That's what I want. Oh see, my god! See, I'm trying to keep. Yeah, it, I'm, trying, I'm trying to fight for you. You gonna go there? So <laughs> I'm gonna give you some privacy. I'm no, gonna no, go, no. I'm gonna go refresh my drink. Okay, I'm, I'm no, but, but I need you here, bro. <laughs> nah, you don't need me here well, at is, all. Wait, it's, I thought we was a professional podcast. We are professional podcast. So how you gonna leave in the middle of the pod? It, I'm not leaving. It's not like you setting up the, your after your your your, your no. morning, your, your early morning no, no, shenanigans. No. So Miss 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 Powers, first off, uh, could you tell the people <laughs> could you tell the people what your profession yes. is and how long you've been doing it? Hello. Oh, okay. So, I am a cytotechnologist. Yes, ma'am. A um, what? A cytotechnologist. Cyto- what, what is that? Like got, almost 20 years now. Please tell us what that is. Because I was about to curse, but it sounds smart. So, what is a cytotechnologist? Okay. <laughs> so, basically, a cytotechnologist is a person. It's a a, a specialty a profession that is it's a part of the laboratory um 
you know, so like a pap smear, that is a test, but you need specializes that's able to look at the cells from a woman's pap smear and to see if there's disease that's there. Or um, another type of specimen that we look at is, I mean, you know, anytime, like if a person has a tumor or, uh, you know, it's not a tumor. Or something like that, we look at the cells to see if they're normal. It's um, not a tumor. It's not a tumor. Yes. So that's that's all. Uh, that's it. I, I feel, look at cells. I, I feel, look at cells all day, every day. I, I feel, evaluate cells to see if they cancer. I feel like your profession mm-hmm. makes you too intelligent feel, to be yeah. talking to young James mm-hmm. Boogie. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, James is very smart. He's very smart. Not, he just, no, no, his intelligence is not what's in question here. So, okay, so uh, that being said, as a cytotech, um, <laughs> what is your because I'm very much yeah. when I want to talk about some of the things that we talk about when we talk, uh, and okay. so, so, okay, so when. Because I have this same situation. We deal with names, and like mm-hmm. sometimes names come across the board, and they're so they're mm-hmm. unique names. So I just want to know some okay. of the unique names that you have seen come across your your you know when you get the names like you know like, like wow yeah. So what are some of the most um, so interesting names? Yes. Uh, so you know, okay. okay. This is one example. Yeah. Um. You know, you know, sometimes you get some indigenous people. Okay. Um, so I've seen names like Shot with Two Arrows. Mm. Oh. What about Jablani? Uh, <laughs> you know, like, uh, Why does he... <laughs> 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 uh, it's almost... Bro, bro, like, one more minute and we can fight, bro, because it's almost... One more minute and it's Juneteenth and that's racist. What about Satole? <laughs> One more, one more <laughs> minute, and it's Juneteenth, and that's a fighting, fighting words. Oh man! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to think of something else weird. Oh, if I sp- do, I come across some very extremely. Things. I know we used to always exchange oh. weird names, but you know it's been a while. But still, give me something. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, so what you're telling me that y'all's favorite pastime well, is her telling you true. about the weird names that she sees come across her pap smear logs. Not only pap smear, it might be cancer, it might be foot fungus, whatever. So you're but, making y'all 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 have fun making fun of people's names who might be battling cancer. It might, it be, and you call me toxic, bro. It might no, be so- no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> it's just um, you know, you just see interesting names. You see, and I'm making fun. Just you know, it's just interesting. Just it's interested interesting in names. the in the uniqueness of their names. I can tell you, I don't know how true this is. But yes, I had a student tell me. I don't know how true this was, yeah. but he said. He had two brothers. One of one of them name was Orangelo, and the other one, in other words, Orange Jello. Okay. Oh. And, um, oh. And what, was, what was the other one? Orangelo and uh, I can't think of. Okay. You're killing the joke, I man. You can't can't have I, a joke. I, I worked. With, I worked with a girl. Sorry, named. I know I can't remember, but I just I just. Orangelo. Stay away from the marijuana, man. Well, not even. I've I've heard. I've heard of someone named Orangey. 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 So that's weird. Uh, going back to the 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 the, the gist of the conversation, Father's Day is coming up, right? And I was telling um, I was telling Mister uh Mister Aaron W about how Mother's Day and Father's Day, they're both celebrations of both parents. You know, it's not one parent, it's both parents. It's no, a no, it's separate. What you mean? You honor your mother on Mother's Day, you honor your father on Father's Day. But they, they're a unit. They go together. Not all of them. I, even if they don't go together, they still go together. Nah, I want my separate day. If I'm a father, hey, you have Mother's Day, 
I yeah. want my separate day. Don't intrude on my fucking day. Well, as a, as a mother, what would you what would you what what would you think would be a great Father's Day gift? Let's not talk about your situation. I don't want to get. I don't want to go left. I'm just saying, if you had a father, if you had a father, <laughs> <laughs> not not. I mean, you, your father's a great guy, but you know, so I'm like, I do. Yeah, but yeah, I do have- yeah, yeah. So, what uh kind of gift or what kind of situation is do you think is ideal for a father? Oh, um, I I don't know. Let me tell you something. Right now, you're the second worst guest we've ever had. Right? I mean, everything, everything you say is I don't know. I, I need you to, you know, you have a great personality. You're you're the I'm sorry, one. I have answered every question. Every question. What do you yeah, mean? yeah. This yeah. is the first I don't know. Yeah. Well, no. It's yeah, like the third good. or fourth, right? He he ain't never satisfied. He ain't never satisfied. Ever, he ain't never ever. happy about nothing. You know right? what I'm saying? I don't even know why I Rude. put up with him. To be honest with you. I know. Don't Shit. feed into that madness. Do not feed into that madness. <laughs> uh, Kick him. Um, I will on October eighth. No, I don't know. You know, what I'm saying? like I mean, daddy's like my daddy. Like you daddy. know, specifically, oh, would it be young man? I like, <laughs> he I like likes socks and I, things like that. I like he socks. does like socks. So, so you telling me, you telling me that this the guy who walked around for what 20, 20 maybe thirty some years with you in his sack? You know what I'm saying? He walked around carrying you, protecting you in his sack, making sure that you weren't damaged. You know what I mean? He I'm wore, sorry. he wore the jock strap. That's what he did. Yes. He made sure yes, he that did. if he was playing sports and he got kicked, that you was protected. And what, <laughs> and what do you do for him? You buy him a sock? A Not sock? One. He got two feet. So he been pregnant his whole problem. life with you. He been <laughs> pregnant his whole life <laughs> with you. And you call me toxic. That's the truth. Yeah. When you call me talk, he was walking around with the whole not his whole life though. Miss Powers in his, in nah, his in fact, no, at some point he had to like let loose however many come out in one ejaculation. You know what I'm saying and then he produced more. Yeah, so he, technically he didn't walk around with Miss Powers for twenty years, maybe six months. May I will. He's trying to. He's trying to. He, he's trying to date your daddy's <laughs> jack off or ejaculation period. Yeah. I, I'm saying I your dad is a pure guy and he wasn't doing that kind of stuff and you was just sitting there waiting no, to come out. you practice first. I don't practice. No, Pra-. my, You've been I practicing a lot. I mean, y'all, y'all make sperm every day. So, See, I, I every really day. I was like hanging around in there for six months. It, I mean, you trying to say my dad ain't getting up? My dad was a player. Well, 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 well young James Boogie about. said he ain't getting up for 20 years. I just was trying to, you know. He- I, what I'm saying is that <laughs> I'm saying that you were special Impossible. You, you were you were so that when all them other um, yeah, hussies and suckers oh, hussies were spit now. out, you stayed until right. until it was time for you to uh, right. uh, to to impregnate the correct the one the one. Yes. So you, but anyway, yeah. socks the one. don't know. Look, check this out. If anybody listen to this, if you buy me some socks, we're not friends no more. I like socks. You have to understand. My daddy is a very simple person. I'm simple I, too. I'm sorry. I don't have a man. But I just, okay, if I had a man, okay. Uh-oh, Boogie. You're, you're simple? Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, I, I would try. I'm a very uh, in, uh, it's an intuitive person. Intuitive. Like, I like to pay attention to the Ding. things that you talk about. Yeah. Hey, hey. If I hear you, you know, speak about something, yeah. I'll try to get that thing for you. All right. And I, I like surprises. I like to catch people. Well, I, I love well, surprises. Well, Miss Powers. That's what I like to do. Excuse so me, Miss. I Ms. can't name a thing. What? Miss Powers, we have a new segment on the show Uh-oh. called yes, Finding yes. James Boogie Love. <laughs> so... Um, I like to I like to consider myself as a matchmaker. Oh, really? Yeah, and you did just mention uh-huh. Uh-huh. that you don't have a man, uh-huh. and my guy over here has mentioned that he's very, uh-huh. very, very <laughs> single and available. So how can we make this 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 uh-huh. this work? You guys have uh-huh. great 
chemistry right now on the pod. You know. She can see me too, cause I, <laughs> are y'all doing y'all little fake ass oh, yeah. FaceTime? Cause right, I know you don't have black. an iPhone. It's black for her, but she can see me. <laughs> oh, I dropped the phone. He's dropping the phone because he is. Um, I'm in the dark. Yeah. Why are you in the dark? You don't. You don't want Young James Boogie to see see mm-hmm. your face. Uh huh. By the way, how is Trinity and um his your other daughter? Uh, he knows your daughters. That's yeah. what I'm saying. This is like a match made in heaven. We know each other. We're we're friends. Y'all are friends. That's yeah. the that's the oh. that's the number one the number oh. one thing to making a great relationship is the fact we that you're friends. We're friends. He's singing for you already. Before we were hello. What what are what are other things that makes a what what are the things that make a great relationship? That's the question. Oh, well, y'all starting off with being friends. Figure out what's what, like the well he's trying to figure it out with you, Miss Powers. You know what? This guy right here is hilarious, man. Uh, Talking after midnight. Uh-huh. Um, okay. It's Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How do you feel about the Juneteenth holiday? Wait, you don't you don't want me to finish the matchmaking for you? Can we finish this comment? Kind of, look, man. I feel I feel like <laughs> oh, now you want to get on the phone. <laughs> Any like, other day no, no, you want to keep about, talking. I we want to talk. I want to talk with Powers, but I want to keep it, you know, in the the gist of what we were going I'm, through. Dude, I'm trying to produce you. I've made a new segment. Of the pod <laughs> called Finding You Love. And if we can find you love with Miss Powers, we ain't got to make no more of these segments. Miss Powers, have you listened to our show before? It's dead air. We want Miss Powers. I... Oh, she, are you breaking? Yes. Oh, Miss Powers. Yes, sir. Have I... you listened to our show before? I don't want any air. Oh, can you hear me? Can yes, hear me? I hear you now. Have, have you listened no, to our I show haven't. before? I haven't. Oh, well, if you listen to our show before, we've had many segments. And our segments, no, sir. We, you know what? So, uh, uh-huh. I'll refer you to, I will send you some inf- some some information and some uh, some links to other shows so you can see that we've had many segments. And this segment that he's making up is full Are you going to send us some links to other shows? Like your OnlyFans that you started? I don't have OnlyFans you yet. You just told me three weeks ago you was making OnlyFans. I said I was thinking about it. I thought you made it. No, I didn't make it yet. No, I thought you made it. I'm thinking about it, though. Miss Miss Powers can co-star in your OnlyFans. Yeah. You got a mask, Miss yes. Powers? You got a yes. mask? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, I thought OnlyFans was for him. Huh? It's for her, too. It's for y'all. What? As for a couple. Anybody. Y'all can be like a couple. Yeah. Uh-oh. Y'all can be a couple when y'all can be the masked couple. The masked couple. I would be in mm-hmm. a I, I I'm gonna say that Furby stuff, so I would have a whole bodysuit on. Who go, who go? Hello? What? I would have a who whole body. the money. That's the question. Y'all you gonna can have it. all the money. Y'all gonna have it Hello? Up. You can have all the money. And so you're gonna dress up as a Furby? Who go, hey. Have? Oh, okay. I can have it all. Okay, that's cool. I'm mm-hmm. with. Damn, I made a match, bro. She with it. Me? So... No, I'm not. Wait, hold on. I got to be a Furby. No, I'm no, with no. Furby. James Boogie's the Furby. I don't yeah. know what I you're got to be, be a Furby. No, me. I'll be the Furby. I'll have the whole suit on or whatever, and then you know, because I'm. A... <laughs> okay. You gonna have a Furby suit on with your meat out? Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. I mean, okay. if it, if it yeah, pays, that's not weird. Yeah. Okay. okay. Look, man. Okay. All right. Look, All right. I I go down the I go down. <laughs> oh, you go down. I I'm go his powers. No, no. Furby. I suit go on. I go way down. Mean? No, I go way down, go the, down what? The, the 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 sinkhole <laughs> when it comes to porn. Like I've seen some porn that I'm ashamed to say I've seen, mm-hmm. but I've seen it. Name one. I've seen uh foot foot porn. <laughs> Why are you ashamed to say that? Name another one. I've seen, I've seen. Uh, not nah, gonna say that, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, say it. Say what you gonna say, I've, man. I've seen Daddy. some. I've seen some strange porn. <laughs> you know, I saw one that said "rough sex," and I thought it was good, something Come else. On. Tell us. And rough sex, from what I thought it was, oh. is way different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what was it? Like rough sex was like. I, I was like, "That's assault. That is not sex. That's assault. You need to you need to call a doctor or call the police and, because that's." Oh God, he's like, 
my, my middle name is Bukenya, <laughs> right? My middle name is Bukenya. Oh, Lord. So I saw Bukaki, and I was like, hey, maybe that's something like my last name, or my middle name, right? Mm-hmm. Bukaki is something like, what? Oh. Ain't Bukaki like, like jizzing in the face or something? Bukaki is like 17 people. Oh, jizzing in her face. Yeah. I, you you need to stop that right there. <laughs> oh, no. No, really? Yeah. Well, what did I miss? Or yeah, is you, it, you know it's, what? It's bitch what's no going thing. on right It's now. not for me. Not it's for you. You can't see. We can't, it's happen. just me and you. you no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not for me. It's for you. Oh, nobody I, sees you but me. I'm glad that I've been able to make this match for you guys. Me and um, me and me and Miss Powers are good friends, man. I bet y'all are good friends. We go way back. I bet y'all go way what back. What school did you graduate from again? Lamar? There's that dead space. Again. Why is she just smiling like that? Lamar. Lamar? You know why she's smiling like that? Well, like what? Miss Powers, she can't she can't see you. Oh, I can see. Miss Powers looks like no. uh, a taller, cuter uh Yolanda Adams. So you're pandering now. I'm telling the truth. Mm. Oh, y'all can roll oh, that out on OnlyFans. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's like we can have gospel sex. <laughs> mm. How was that gonna go? No. <laughs> it could be like, Lord. You know how much I love Jesus. Don't be talking about no gospel. I know. Sex. No, we won't go there, man. Because if you go to Jesus, man, <laughs> it's gonna go. It's gonna go a whole different way. And she gonna start spitting out scriptures, Yo. and then John sixteen. Wow, you John twenty fifth. Like, you know that's right. Tell so are you hey. gonna are you yeah, gonna yeah. are you John gonna 16. cosplay as, as, as so Jesus? Check us out. Miss okay. Powers has an encyclopedic um, memory no. of the Bible. You can say a word like you'd be like uh. 17. You know, 17 was a number of people that Jesus touched when he was in Ethesians. Like, she will go, she will have, she she knows the Bible front and back. So, you know, we don't want to play with the Bible, Miss, Miss Powers, man. No, 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 no. But, uh, what were we at? Before you try to make this look, what were we talking about? I just started a blog for that. What's your blog? You started a blog for Jesus? Yeah. You talked about Father's Day. What's what's your blog, though? What's your blog? Yes. It's called It's called Written in Pink. I start. I I just started it on Facebook. Okay. Um. If you go into your notifications, I request to everybody on my friends list. Okay. You should have one. I'm, you know, you, you now you know if I come into your my blog first site. Post was John you know, if I come into your blog site, you know, I'm from, if I come onto your blog, I'm coming with all the uh-huh. smoke. A hundred percent all the smoke. I'm be like, if Break Jesus, it. I'm gonna be it. like, Jesus was what happened between okay. uh twenty five and and thirty three? What happened to them dead yet? What he was doing? Was he crip walking? Was he cripping? What was going on? He disappeared. How come it's the whole dead spot? What about Mary? You know what I'm saying? Not Magdalene. I'm talking about his mama. Why is that important? But really, like, from being one month old to to three, what importance is that? Man, look, you know the things I did when I was from from one month to three? That's my formidable years. None. Nobody's going to get anything valuable out of that. Do you know what I did when I was four months old? Yeah, okay. But I did some shit. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you? I don't even cuss, but I said shit. I, I do you? I've given up cussing. You don't know that. But uh-huh, I've well. I've given up cussing. But I did some shit from, from 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 one month to six months. Okay. Boy. Boy. You you remember? Tell me. I got video I got uh-huh. video evidence. Tell me about it. You got video evidence of what? What uh, things I was doing from one month to six months? Mm-hmm. Oh, he was, going through this bullshit jigging. again. I was in there. I was, I was jigging and jigging in in a, in the village in Uganda. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> See, it's 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 officially it's it's okay. Juneteenth right now. No, 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 no. So no, you no, are no, in violation. No, no. I'm not trying to be yeah. funny. I want to know what dances you were doing in the hut. 
You see what I'm saying? The hut. The this dish. is what I got to deal with. This is, this is the kind of racism <laughs> I got to deal with. Black on black racism. What you know mean? what I mean? He might as well call me African booty session, man. <laughs> and I would not no. dare do that to you, sir. I'm just trying to figure out why you was Harlem shaking in the hut <laughs> in Uganda. I was... Uh, uh, can't, can't, am I on camera twice? I'm like, I'm yeah. on camera with you. I don't know what you and Miss Powers are doing. She's just like, sitting there smiling, really? looking like... She's uh, smiling, she waiting on you to come through. See what I'm saying? See what he does? That's that's why with friends like these, who needs enemies? <laughs> huh. Nah, I got your back, bro. I'm not setting you up for failure. I'm setting you up with Miss Powers. Miss Powers. You grinning, it? she grinning. It's 12. Y'all both young. Y'all feeling it. Y'all lit. Actually, Miss Powers, Powers is a little bit more mature than I am. She just a little seasoned. That's all, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm so, saying? So, okay. So, let me tell you about how. What you call a little bit more mature? Because you're t- mature. Let me tell you, let me tell you how. <laughs> Let me tell you how I met Miss well, Powers. Right? No, 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 I'm gonna no, tell you about no, our history. I you want, you want to know I, no. how we met, I right? Want, I want to skip to the maturity level because I know you're pretty mature. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how much more mature she is from you. Let me tell you the story, right? Like cougar mature, or look, like. <laughs> so look, Miss Powers, I went to high school. At Jesse H. Jones. You went to like five high schools. You went to Yates. Yeah. You went to Jones. Yeah. You went to Sterling. No. You went to Cashmere. No. You went to uh, 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 Sam Houston. I went to Sam Houston. So which... That's it. I went, okay, so Miss Powers grew up in the South Park area of Houston, Texas, right? What part of South Park? By Jones. And so... Sorry to hear that. Her sister... Was a, a was a student, an attendee at Jones, right? <laughs> so she was out of school and you was in school. No, as a freshman, her sister was at. Well, her sister was a sophomore when I was a freshman. And what was she? She was a senior in at Lamar, right? Master yeah. 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 Okay. So that dead air is killing us. You know yes. what I'm saying? We are professional part over here. I am a professional podcaster. Yeah. So, by the way, I have my own show coming out where we can have it. <laughs> Just so what's the know. name of your own show? I'm my still beat her, but what's I, the look, name of it? I could be wrong, but that's the name of my show. Oh, so we got a name now. I got a name. I could be wrong, but. but you I, and Miss Powers the same age would tell me. No, no. Miss Powers is too. Well, let me tell you. So, her. Well, hold on. <laughs> what, what, what birth certificate are you using? Your American birth certificate? <sighs> Or your African birth certificate. This guy. So, okay, as I was saying, Miss Powers, <laughs> Miss Powers' sister was at Jones. Now, I was a little bitty guy at Jones my first year. And so her sister used to pester me because I was a freshman. And she was like, look at that little freshman. <laughs> look at that little freshman. <laughs> and she used to pester me. And so I'd be like, look, man. <laughs> I'm a freshman, but you ain't got to do that to me, man. But how did she she I'm pester you. you if you were on a whole nother wing? Well, she like you ain't got to Jones Jones. You I went to, to like Jones. I went to I went to Jones Vanguard. You didn't go to the Jones. No, my, my sister was in Vanguard. Exactly. Oh, so, so y'all both were. Vanguard. Yeah, but she yeah. was a year old. Oh, a year so y'all me. both were segregated from the real niggas. I got you. Okay. This guy right here. Okay, and so. Yes. Yeah. So so that's that's in the yeah, that's ninety four ninety five. So yeah. you didn't go to Jesse H Jones. Yeah, I went to Jesse H Jones. No, no, no. You didn't go to Jesse H Jones. I went to Jesse H Jones. No, no you just went to Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and so years later, um, I was poking, <laughs> I was poking fun at uh at her sister, who shall remain name, nameless, who is like a carbon copy of me. Just the female version. Like, we like all the same things. Uh, we have the same jokes. So she full of shit, too? No, she's real. Shout out to... I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she wants to be known like that. But shout out to uh, <laughs> Lil Sis. And then... Oh, she in the gang? You throwing up the West? I'm throwing... Mm-hmm. Uh, I will throw the West for everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you're not even from the West. You're I'm from, from Detroit. I, I throw that up, too. Man, you ain't claim... Bro, you, 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 false, you, you, you yeah. false flagging in this bitch. Okay. And so then we... Me and her got into a conversation, and we started arguing or talking, whatever it is, and that's how we became friends. So we get, we became friends through me talking noise to her sister. 
So you're 46, Miss Powell was just 47. I have a 46. Yes. How am I 46? See, she just she just agreed. She, she just agreed to her age, but I'm not 46. You 46. Man, if I was 46, <laughs> if I'm 46 and okay, so if I'm my age, you're 46. Check this out. Watch this. So all that being said, me and this guy are gonna have a a a, a fist. Of, we're gonna go to fist of cups, right? We're gonna have a boxing match on October the what eighth? October eighth. October eighth, right? Uh-huh. Twenty twenty one. He is my my uh-huh. junior by about three or four years. By five? What you talking by, about? No, 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 no. That's no. five. I turned forty, Marie. Uh, three in, years in ago. Two weeks. You do not turn forty three in two weeks. I do. My birthday. Look. <laughs> My birthday is June 29th. You're going to be every bit of 44, 45. The 30th. Do I need no, to put 20, your 29. whole business in the streets? Look, June 29th, You're going to be 44 or 45. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you're not. I'm gonna let you, this guy is, is a little bit bigger than me. Why? Do, that pose is for you, A sir. little bit bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he thinks because... I'm a little, even though I'm a little bigger. As you can see, I got a little bigger. But even though I'm a little bigger, we're gonna have pistol cups. You know what I'm saying? What you been eating? The Rockets, man. What? They uh. <laughs> Why are you dodging the, the question of what you been eating? That sounds like cold for something else for me. But I ain't gonna put your business. The Rockets, out there, bro. man. They have a great. Uh, team, but what I gonna say is, I forgot where I was going with this. She man. gotta have like laid to the side for you too. I saw the pose. She got like a whole pose for you, bro. You know, what happens in the show at this point is we've been drinking for a while. No, we <laughs> haven't. As a matter of fact, I ain't seen no liquor go in your cup, so you're perfectly sober. Bro, do you want to smell my cup, man? No, I don't. That's okay. a pause, nigga. <laughs> smell my cup is a pause? Yes, yeah, for you and his powers. You see what I'm saying? This is what he does. So, uh, I'm sober. I'm just drinking Coke Zero. We get, we get to the point of this show where we be going for like an <laughs> hour some change. And everything goes left. I forget the last statement I said. Uh-huh. He makes up stuff. All right, so your last statement you said was the things you like to enjoy eating with Miss Powers. Mm-mm. Y'all were arguing about. Thank you. Um, we were arguing about who? Who? Um, he loves eating. Um, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I said. 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 The tacos and chalupas that you wanted. And he and he I, he turned I, around and said something about having meat in a chalupa for you. That's what he said. That's no. Not, no. 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 He thank likes you. cabana bones. Uh, I, I, I used <laughs> he to. He likes cabana bones. Damn, she know what you like? Because Bro, everybody this sounds knows, perfect. <laughs> everybody knows I like cabana I don't, bones. I didn't know you like cabana bones. And I've been See this guy right here, man? That's I've why been, I don't like him. I've been knowing you this for is, damn near 20 years. Look, I didn't know you like Cabana you see, Bowls. You see that right there? You see the, the boxing? Nah, book. Let's be for real. What? I, I've never known you like Cabana Bowls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. How many times have we been to Taco Cabana together? Let's be honest. Pause, bro. Well, Mountain, damn, niggas Mountain, is gay because they go to Taco Cabana? Mountain, Mountain Dew now. Well, I know about the Mountain Dew. Everybody about Mountain Dew. Yeah. Mountain Dew is like. You remember that have, time we you know, tried to I, give look, the, the, look. the homeless lady to Mountain Dew and she almost threw that shit in my car? Yeah, bro. Check this out. Check this out. You know what? Really, this might be some weird stuff to say. Weird stuff to say they but don't say it. I'm going to say it, though. I was always on the fence about, about uh, LeBron James. Like, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. When he went to Mountain Dew, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give his brother a try, man. Pause. I'm gonna get his. Bro- I'm gonna get his brother a chance, man. <laughs> Did you like the cold red? <laughs> yeah. Have right. you have you, have you tried cold, the Mountain Dew that he's? Have you tried the pomegranate Mountain so, Dews? Any drinks? Only that. Di- only drink the diet Mountain Dew. I haven't drunk in the uh, Mountain Dew. Um, the uh, blast. I ain't drunk them, bro. They 100 percent juice, bro. Is it a lot of sugar in them? It's 100 percent juice. But is it sugar in it? I don't know. You don't read the labels? No, I just know it says 100% juice, man. So it's probably like 40% juice if it says 100% juice from Mountain Dew. Bruh, it I, is. I took a deep dive into Mountain Dew being a um, sign of the Illuminati. What? Yeah. I know you used to like to get the big rigs. The big, oh, I, I still get the uh, the big ones, man. Pause, pause, pause. I get a Mountain Dew. Like, normally this would be Mountain Dew. A whole thing, 44 ounces. <laughs> it's gone. Pause. Yeah, this you got pause. That, yeah. was, that was pretty gay, bro. Is this past your best time, Miss Powers? Whoa, hey, hey. 
No. Y'all can't see her face, but she's like, that's the invitation. Man, so let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna let you go for a second because it's 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 twelve thirty. I got I got work in the morning. Oh, you finna go to work? But look, check this out. Miss Powers has a daughter that is so artistically gifted. <laughs> like she is like. Have you seen the Mitchells uh, versus the Machines? The who? Mitchells versus the Machines. I've heard Rage Against the Machine. The Mitchells versus the Machines is a is a semi. It's it's an animated movie, but it has Maya Rudolph, it has uh, Eric uh, Andre, it has uh 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 what's the dude from uh from uh down Joe uh, Budden? No, the guy who wants I want to blow it up. The, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever seen? You know what I'm talking. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't. The uh, curly Danny something. Danny, Danny McBride. Trey. I don't know. Who Danny McBride. Remember uh Tropic Thunder? No. Why are you doing that? You know Travel Thunder, man. With that, with 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 Robert Downey Jr. with had black face. I know that part. Remember the guy who wanna blow who wanna I wanna blow it up. The guy who wanna blow shit up all the time. Nah, the curly don't, hair. Don't no, you just don't. being an asshole right now. <laughs> I'm not being an asshole. It's Danny funny, McBride. It's funny that you brought up Tropic Thunder because me and Michael Hamm was talking about Tropic Thunder today. But <laughs> go ahead. You trying to blow it up? You trying to get over there to blow the spot? No, up? but anyway, the Mitchells versus the Machines is a great movie. And it so reminds me of your daughter. Oh man, the artwork. It's on Netflix. Check it out. Mm-hmm. It sounds like you're pandering. No, man, it's the truth, man. It's a, it's a, it's a great movie. I got you. Okay. okay. Ha- have okay. you ever have you have are you familiar with Eric Andre? Maybe I should watch it together tonight, this morning. Why what's wrong with this guy? I'm trying to make a match, bro. Bruh. I'm trying to find you love. True Bruh. love. And how? Why? Why not? Oh. Why not start your journey of true love with is someone that, that you're truly a friend of? Is that Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Truly what? I said that's how true love starts. Love. Being friends, and y'all are friends. Y'all can watch a Matthew McConaughey movie before oh. you go to work, book. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Who watches a Matthew McConaughey movie and is happy afterwards? Why would you not be happy? Is Matthew McConaughey? Because he talks like this, man. <laughs> Everything he talks about. You know what? You know what, Mike? You're not supposed to watch to the end. I don't see, man. You talking about how the, I watch movies from the beginning to the end. You and Miss Powers on the sofa Netflixing. You gonna watch the movie to the end? Or are you gonna try to make? <laughs> you should see her face right now. <laughs> you should see her face right now. She is like, oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. That is not what she's doing. He did. Does, he doesn't know how great of a guy JB is. If he did come over here, all he would do was sit Indian style on the side of the bed and point at all the funny points because he's a great guy. <laughs> All he wants we to have do. a whole Circle G discography that I can pull up that will express exactly your true <laughs> intentions with people's daughters. Miss Powers, I appreciate you um, giving us your time. Yeah. It probably what? One name, uh, my Kiko, too. Where's my Kiko? My Kiko? She know about my Kiko. See? <laughs> <laughs> she know about my Kiko, my man. Bitch, my Kiko. My Kiko, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, you pre- get, are you going to get mopped up by some 48 year olds? Uh, man, yeah, you got to worry about me. For, forget the other 48. What you I got to worry about you, you for? Because, man, it's we, October man, 8th. Tooth piece, no fry, no shake, bro. You finna get dropped. Nah, should I be scared of somebody who tells me two piece, no fry, no shake? You should be. No. I'm just saying, this. she's a smart young lady. She studies um, um, titties for a living. Titties, 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 titties. So, so with sell, that, sell. sales, sell, titty sales. So with that oh, being said, titties. yeah, she probably can explain to you the likelihood of you being knocked out again once you've been knocked out before. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we can't see your facial expressions. We can only hear your voice. Knocked out before? Yes. Oh, he didn't tell you. She didn't, she listened to the show. Oh. To the show. Yes, young James Boogie has been knocked out at least three times that I know of. Why does he three times you know of? Three times that I know of. One time you know of. No, three times. What's that, that I know what's of. that two times? The one time G from the three 
threatened to knock you out, so you just went to sleep. Come on, uh, see what I'm saying? It's <laughs> all monsters. So, Miss Powers, appreciate you for being on the show, <laughs> and I will tell you a link to this. And thank you again. It's twelve thirty. Yes. In the AM. Maybe you can thank Miss Powers in person later on today. Thank you. Okay. This guy right here, man. That's why you know we're friends like these. Who needs enemies? Who? Oh. You, you, you acting like I'm Rory and Maul in this bitch. This guy right here, man. I can't win for losing, man. Hey, say, man, your guy, we ain't going to be here too long because I know you got to get out of here, but your yeah. guy was killing young James Harden the other night, man. Oh. One Maul, by the way. About what? About him being hurt? Yeah, he was killing James. He was like, hey, man, hey, man. Say, man, James is hurting the team right now. He's doing more hurt than harm. They He's won the game, though. They lost the game, bro. Oh, well, but the second game, but they won the first game. No, they they just lost the game. It just it just passed. Yeah, they, but they, what I'm saying is they lost game six. Yeah, they won game five though. But they lost game six. I mean, the, the, he hurt. No, I'm 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 yeah no yeah. Well, a debate happened on Twitter about how, and Maul says that playoff James has now been initiated. This is what James does. He he doesn't play defense. He checks out of games in the playoffs. Is that a re- is that a fair narrative for James Harden? Out of your observations, take your bias. I away. mean, I mean, is it a I, fair observation that James kind of checks out in the playoffs? James Harden literally was not supposed to be playing. No, 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 in no. The no, play- no. I'm about, th- I'm about this year. I get that. I get that. But I'm asking you: Is it your observation that he checks out in the playoffs? The man averages thirty points a game. In the playoffs. Man, uh, let's be a bean. James Harden can probably average 35 sleeping. So what you're saying, so what I'm saying is, man, I don't talk about that, man. Because James, that's. that's oh, no, I didn't say it. I'm no, not, I'm, I'm saying, not saying but I, I want, agree I, with I, No, I'm just saying I don't want to talk about that. because no, I want that's, to because that, Maul said the narrative that. Fuck that, Maul. I agree. Fuck yeah. Maul. But what I'm saying, he this said. This nigga hit a jump shot in his life, man. Fuck he probably Maul. hadn't, bro. But what I'm saying is. There are better copies to talk about than a, a, a lame guy talking about James damn, Harden. I don't know you felt this strongly about Maul. Now, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, like, we got to, to close our pod. I don't want to talk about some dude who's saying some shit that has no premise. Like, a lot of times, and to go back to our our. Earlier conversation. I don't want to go back to the earlier no, no, conversation. No, no, no. Because not, I had a, not, not I had, no bullshit, no, but no, no. also real shit. I had a bigger question. Go ahead. Go you ahead. go ahead with the real shit. Because I had a bigger question about the James Harden thing. Oh, what I was going to say is that a lot of times we as a culture, we let people who have no real um, attachment or have no real fair shake in the conversation make commentary. Like, why the fuck is Maul talking about James Harden? Like, why, why do we care about LeBron James' feelings about certain shit? We, I agree that he, him doing things is one thing. Do whatever you want to. Donate how you want to. X, Y, Z. But now when we talk about your opinion, like, you ain't, you should, you can't really have an opinion, bro. Like You can't say that because some, no, somebody can, can have say, an opinion. Because somebody can is, say, I, somebody can say that you shouldn't have an opinion on, Jay, on, on, on. LeBron James. What I'm saying is, my opinion on LeBron James' philanthropy is coming from a, a space of somebody who deals in that in that realm, right? Maul's opinion on James Harden's game, like Maul, what makes you a person who's able to comment on that? He has a lot of good friends who are NBA players. Shut the fuck up, Julius door. Randall, Iman Shumpert. Um, um, Trevor Ariza. All okay, these you guys. You, you named two guys that was trash, and one dude who had who was had one year out of seven. Well, oh, hold on, who's trash? Iman Shumpert, uh, Trevor Ariza, who went over. T- He's the reason why James Harden turned into James Harden because when it was the crunch time, when it was time, and I didn't want to talk about sports, but I was trying to do well, it. It wasn't about to- James Harden; it's about sports. J- when when James Harden and when Chris Paul got hurt. That year, and we needed somebody to hit a jump shot. Trevor Reason went over thirteen. Dude, the worst playoff performance how, of all time ever. How many rings do Iman Shumpert and and Trevor Reason have versus James Harden? Iman Shumpert has one ring, and Trevor Reason has, I think, one or two. He has more than one. Trevor Reason? Yeah. 
Who he won with? He won with Kobe for sure. That's it. Anyway. If my, uh, let me tell you how, how trash Trevor Reza is. Trevor Reza won a ring with the Lakers, got a max contract the next year, and then that next year after play, he got traded the next year. They're like, what? Man, this nigga trash. And they traded him next year. Yeah, whoever gave Trevor Reza max contract was smoking. Got got, got traded the next year. Like, man, came to Houston and was trash and got traded again. Come on, man. No, but what I'm saying is, so Maul's, and, and you got to let me get through Maul's point. Go ahead, go ahead. So Maul was stating all of these things. Playoff James Harden has been activated. He checks out. Um, and people did bring up the fact that, hey, man, this man hurt. He shouldn't even be out there. Mm-hmm. And so Ma was like, yeah, he's hurt. He shouldn't be out there. And then he put the the responsibility on the coach. Mm-hmm. Some people in the comments said that, well, Steve Nash ain't no real coach. Mm, I never coach. They were like, you know, I can coach the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, you really? It's the same. Steve Nash is getting the same commentary that Steve Kirk gets. Like, yeah, you got all these all-stars on your team. All you got to do is roll the ball out. Um. The match question. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like there is a such thing as playoff James Harden and it's a fair assessment um, for this to happen? No, nah, that's just people talking. Man. People say shit, and, and this, and I hate to go back there, but this goes all the way back to what, like, people, people don't be having informed opinions about things in order to say things because it sounds good. So you think the narrative that James Harden checks out sometimes in the playoffs is false? Perception versus reality, man. You have real analysts who say Perception James Harden versus checks out. reality. You have real Hall of Fame okay, players Okay, real Hall of Fame players. What they, he who, checks name, out. Name the Hall of Fame player who said that. Shaq, Chuck, Kenny. Can, what Kenny averaged in the playoffs? How many rings Kenny got? What play? What did Kenny average in the playoffs? Now you know I don't know what Kenny averaged in the playoffs. I know you don't know, but I'm saying that I feel he like averaged every, thirty. I, I feel like everybody on that team he just, averaged thirty. Just dumped the ball to Hakeem. I'm saying he averaged thirty. Well, what can Chuck I averaged in the playoffs? Can he ask, averaged thirty. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Has James Harden average of thirty translated into rings? Has Chuck averaging twenty seven average led to rings? It didn't. So, so you think that Chuck is a trash or he's not a good player because he didn't get a ring? Nobody said that Harden was trash. You think Chuck didn't perform good because he didn't get a ring? Nobody said James didn't perform well. So what is what's the question? What are you talking about? No, they're saying that 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 playoff James checks out from time to time. What I'm saying is, did Chuck check out from time to time? I don't think so. I don't think he did, no. That's what I'm saying. And he averaged less than James Harden. So you're saying that me being keyed in, not checking out, not getting as many points, rebounds, steals as you got, didn't equate to a ring, and you checking out, but mine is better than yours. Why? Well, we talked about the fact that Russ's stats don't matter. Even though he gets stupid stats, it doesn't equate to wins. Check the, You've said that. Yeah, West, but Westbrook ain't even getting to the – he ain't even getting past the first round. Well, I don't think it matters if you get past the first round or to the Western it does Conference matter. Finals. If it you don't, does matter. The ultimate, the ultimate is winning the chip, right? And so that's some American shit right there. That's wow. Some, yeah. That's some American shit. Yeah, that's some American shit. All right, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. So if you make it to the Western Conference Finals every year but don't make it to the finals, you can you can say, hey, that's an attaboy. I'm better than the guy who couldn't get out of the second round. It's goddamn right. But is is it not a team effort? What I'm saying is, so you saying so what? So let's let, let's make this very simple. You're saying that somebody who won three games or who got to the playoffs and couldn't win four games is as good or better than somebody who won twelve games. Do you think Allen Iverson is as good or better than James Harden? They about equal. Because Allen Iverson made it to the ECF one time, and the he went to the finals one time. Do you think? James Harden could take that team Allen Iverson took to the finals and win a game against Kobe. You think James Harden do the same thing with that team? Once again, you're qualifying his win. You're you're not saying that Allen Iverson produced better than James Harden. You're saying that, well, could he do this? That I'm like, I don't know. But I'm saying that what James Harden had was equal to what Allen Iverson had several times. 
Allen Iverson had Tyrone Hill. He had Eric Snow. He had Larry Hughes. He had Derek Coleman. He had the Kimberly Mutombo. He ain't had he like no, he had, no 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 no. Yeah, and like he he had the defensive player of the year on his squad. Look, all I'm asking is there such thing as playoff James Harden checking out. Some people say he checked out in the bubble against LA before the series was over. He might have because Westbrook can't because Westbrook can't shoot. If I if, if but if I'm great. If I'm great, if I'm great, if I'm and they great, go, and they go double team me, why am I gonna check out? How, did LeBron check out? Well, LeBron ain't as great as. Did Jordan ever check out? But Jordan is the best ever. But did Jordan ever? Did Dominique no. Wilkins check out? No. Did Isaiah Thomas check out? No. Did 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 Magic check out? No. Did Bird check out? No. Did Reggie Miller check out? Yes. Reg, Reggie Miller has checked out. Reggie no. fucking no, Miller. no, no, no. Has Dream checked out? Yes. Dream is checked out of a game. Dream checked out, definitely. Dream checked out like in 92. Dream checked out in 97. And Dream checked out in 98. How many rings Dream got? Two. Oh, okay. Carmelo, do you ever check out? Yeah. Did Gary Payton check out? Yeah. Gary Payton. Gary Payton checked out with the Lakers. Gary Payton and Carmelo together checked out with the Lakers. Which they checked out. Yeah. They were like, him, this young nigga don't pass me the ball. When Kobe waved off um, Malone. Dame Dollar, has he ever checked out? Yeah. Damian Lillard? Yeah. All right. I see where this is going. You're just a, you're, you, you, and I'm not saying that I agree with any of this. Mm-hmm. But your love, your man crush for James Harden mm-hmm. is so strong that you can't admit. That your guy from time to time will check out. And I guarantee you, if they don't win a chip this year, he's going to want out of Brooklyn. Because he got hurt? Them three. Because he got hurt? He's going to want out of Brooklyn. Bro, he don't want to play with them niggas. you telling me because my, 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 my shooting guard got hurt and I got hurt. I'm going to check. Man, nah. He don't want to play with them niggas, man. He going he gonna to want out. Yeah. One one of them gonna want out. Kyrie gonna want out. James gonna want to be back with the strippers and turkey leg hut. And 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 KD gonna want to go somewhere where he can be not double teamed. Nah, he tripping. We'll see. They're not gonna make it to the finals. All right. So check this out. So to end the show, man. Uh, this is a great show. It was a good show. It wasn't a great show. It was a good show though. We've had some great shows. This wasn't a great show. But it was a good show. <laughs> Why was it not a great show? I don't know, man. I think it wasn't a great show. We've had like maybe, this is 40, right? This is 41. Oh, 41? 41 was all right. But 42 going to be great, man. Why is 42 going to be great? I'm going to make sure it's great, man. I feel like you're the executive producer of the show, and I'm the creative director of the show. And sometimes if I don't call my creative director part, it makes the show not great. Yeah, you gotta have your 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 um your agenda. Yeah, I I I, I said if we don't have an agenda, we go everywhere. No, but I think we've had like my favorite show. What's your favorite show so far? Oh, that's a tough one, bro. My favorite show is when I get to ridicule you. My favorite show, hands down, was Urban Air. Why? Because you were talking about the trans because it was funny. Oh, okay. I think Urban Air was Urban Air was one of our funniest shows. I could agree. That's one. Of, that's one of our funniest shows of all time. Well, you be hey man, Joe Button teased us with two bars, but you wouldn't know because you don't have a Patreon. I don't. Man, you suck, bro. Check this out. I'm gonna have to edit. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Like this right here. I can be your favorite song. Shake the mood and turn me on. Me, I like some alcohol. Days are short, but nights is long. Autumn season, autumn season. Favorite time to watch it fall. Right into my bed, nice dress. You should take that off. I can take it nice and easy. Nigga, fuck me sleazy, all that niceness kinda cheesy She don't like it, plus she vegan Winter time, cuffing season Handcuffs, whips in season Don't nobody wanna fall <laughs>
Fuck. 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 Nobody wants to fuck. 